Sunday of May is a celebration honoring the mother of a family, as well as motherhood, maternal bonds, and the influence of mothers in society. Tonight, we bring you a unique mother who defied her condition and went to a terracine, all in a desperate attempt to rescue her daughter, who is lucky to have survived the attack without picking a scar. Duncan Hyamba traced a mother and daughter and brings us the following report of truly a mother's undying love as we mark Mother's Day. For over 12 hours, the Ducit Hotel remained a battle zone as security forces battled insurgents who had attacked Kenya. As the siege went on, a mother confined on a wheelchair remained put, praying for her daughter who was trapped inside to come out alive. As the world marks Mother's Day, we talk to mother and daughter on a mother's undying love. Tuesday, January 15, 2019, trail of terror, destruction, death and pandemonium reigned in Nairobi as terrorists attacked Dusit 2 complex on Riverside Drive, leading to a siege that lasted over 10 hours. Amidst the ensuing melee, a mother, Phyllis Ouko, a person living with a disability, did the unthinkable. I was like, they come and kill me if there are men in Africa. Resisting evacuation. She stormed a terracin, fighting all she could to go in and rescue her daughter, Susan Jerry, who was trapped inside. Um, I would say... Uh, could I say it was a maternal instinct? Because it's not really something that I thought about. My daughter called me that she was in distress. As a mother, what do you do? <laughs> the, what came through my mind was I had to get out there. Regardless of what the situation was. Um, and if anything, I was willing to pay the ultimate price. And I was going there, as I was going there, I was prepared for that. I was actually the only person I called before my phone died. I, I knew she'd do something. I just didn't expect her to. <laughs> uh, I just didn't expect her to, to show up. I just, because she's always been there for us. She's always been there for my brothers and I. She's my everything. So, in such a situation, who else do you call except the person who's always and constantly been there for you? And so I knew, I knew I'd be. So long as mom knew, that was what was going through my head. For over 10 hours, Ducit Hotel was under siege. A defiant mother on a wheelchair and on an empty stomach braved a rainy, chilly night amid deafening gunfire. Waiting anxiously and praying her daughter is rescued. When there was that exchange, fierce exchange of gunfire, everybody was told to lie down. I didn't lie down. When I looked around, everybody was lying down. In fact, I was the tallest seat, seated on my chair. I saw people lying on the ground. But I see, I mean, if my child is inside there, maybe she's already dead. Why would I fear to die? If it has to come to this, so be it fought each other and that's how I got through the hours it's because of my colleagues and they just give advice somebody will be like shh or charge the miracle or you know like things at that time your mind is not registering but they're the ones who help you they're like lie low try to be still mm. and that's what got me through the hours I was ready to be there. We all died. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I really wasn't going to rescue her. Yeah. I knew I couldn't. Oh. <laughs> I'm not armed, I'm not trained, I'm not even physically able. So I wasn't going to rescue her. And I knew that. Yeah. But at least I was saying, even if something happens to me, I was praying she would get out alive. And at least she would know. My mom came, even if she died in the process, she died for me. What does a mother do? That's the ultimate price you can, that's the ultimate price you can pay for your child. Yeah. She's still young with all, you know, <laughs> a whole hell of life ahead of her. At least me, I've <laughs> been around for a while. That's why I was saying, yeah, let her live, let my child live. With support of her son and unsure of how it could end, she kept hope alive. At about 4 a.m., Kenyan security officers launched the final assault against the terrorists, ending the siege. Jerry! As lucky survivors, Susan and Jerry among them were rescued. Mother and daughter were reunited. <laughs> Njeri had survived a terror attack that claimed more than 20 lives and as the world celebrates Mother's Day, she is lucky to have such a mother who defied all the dangers in her attempt to rescue her from the jaws of death at a terror scene. You know there are some people who never experience unconditional love because that's how I describe unconditional love. The people who have never experienced it and will probably never experience it. It's the kind of love you get from your mom. So it's important you don't take that for granted. We, we don't take that for granted. It's not you're right. It's not that you're special. But if you're able to just get somebody who will run after you, when you're in trouble and they show up, well, my biggest takeaway is don't take it for granted. Call your mom. Just call her. Sometimes it's a little thing. You don't have to wait for Mother's Day to do something, to say thank you. Because the sacrifice that she's made for us. Remember, there are people who lost their lives there. And most of those who lost their lives were young people, young innocent lives. So um, um, that's not lost to me. And uh, that's why I really thank God. Because it could have gone either way. It could have been my child, you know? So I empathize with those families who lost their loved ones. And uh, for that reason, I also thank God for having saved my child. It's not that I'm special, more special than them, or we are special than them. But God came through. So every day, I thank God for that, as well as so many people who I believe joined us in prayers. Uh, the other thing I also came to learn is I live each day at a time because you don't know about tomorrow. That's a major lesson. Indeed, a mother's undying love, what a mother can do, and as they say, Life does not come with a manual, it comes with a mother. As Mitch Album once said, but behind all your stories is always your mother's story, because hers is where yours begins. Duncan Hember, KTN News.